Hey there, I'm Further Reading. This is part 2 of my Dwarven Engineering series. In part 1 we discussed how to build a Dwarven Water Reactor, and now here in part 2 I will show you what I used it to power. A giant pump stack that goes down 160 levels. First to explain the mechanics here. Here I've got a screw pump, and the screw pump is being powered by my Dwarven Water Reactor as I mentioned earlier. And what it's doing is it's taking lava from this grate behind it, and it is pumping it into this section in front. Then if you go up one level, you'll see that this is taking lava from this section and pushing out here. And you can see this is the middle of the T. So it takes it from the middle of the T, puts it into its own T, and so on and so forth, all the way up. It's going to be taking it from the bottom of the T and pushing it to the top of the T. Using keyboard macros is a very important way to draw this properly. So I would recommend you go back and watch my first tips video if you need instructions on how to set them up. And once set up, what you want to do is you're going to draw the T. So we're going to start, this is going to be the top one. We're going to draw like this. We're going to do two more down here. And we are going to put a channel down at the bottom of the T. We're also going to need some sort of surface axis for building everything. You can either go from the left or from the right, whichever way makes more sense based on how you set everything up. We will do to the left for now. And then you want to build a stairs. So we're just going to grab a stair. We'll head down one space for the second level. So that's going to be where the stair is. Next, we're going to draw the second level. So it's going to be in line with this T here. We're going to go down one. And we're just going to draw out this T shape again. And then we're going to have the channel on this side. So now what happens is, so this is the top level and this is going to be the one at the bottom. And also we need to make sure that this gets linked together. So let's draw a axis corridor from here. So now what's going to happen is this is the top and this is the bottom. So let's say this is the start of your pump stack. This channel is going to go into some water or some magma or something. Then you have a pump here on these two spots. It's going to pump it out to here into this section here. And if you go up one, it's going to pull it from the middle of the T and push it up this way and so on and so forth. Now that we got our design, let's go ahead and make a macro for it. We're going to go to mining mode first. We are going to, and once we have the keyboard cursor up, you'll know you're in mining mode. We're going to press Control R to start recording a macro. Then we are going to use our keyboard to basically trace over the shape we just did. That's all the mining. Then we're going to press U to go into channel mode and we're going to Hit there twice so now we've got this layer done then we'll go press c to go down the layer we're going to head up here press here twice so we get the channel put in there then we'll go press m to go back to mining mode we're going to curve out the service corridor and we're going to curve out the rest of the t like so and then what we're going to do is we are going to head up to this part because this is where the next t is going to be and we'll go press c again and then we are going to press Control R to stop our macro. And now our macro should work. If you press Control P, you'll see every time you press Control P, it's going to do another pair. And if you just scroll up, you will see that they are all matching the same pattern all the way up. And now you've got your macro. We don't include the stairs in the macro. So what I prefer doing is I'll do the stairs manually using it as kind of a guide to say where I should be starting and stopping my stack. And then once I have all of the stairs mapped out, I will then start using the macro to place the T around the stairs. Now that the mining is completed, there's an extra step you have to do. You're going to have to go to channel and you're going to have to channel out this part here right before the top of the T. And do the same on the bottom level as well. You should also macro this too. So just head into channel mode. Make sure this is selected. And once that's done, then you're going to press Control R to start a new one. And we're just going to select a square. We're going to press C, go down, select a square, press C and head up. And that now should be lined up with the next layer that we're going to want for our pump stack. The reason we do these separately is that if there is a gap here, then the dwarves can't get over to this side to mine this part out. So that's why you want to mine out the main T-shape first, and then you want to do the final channel. Uh, this channel is what's going to be used to transfer power between all of the pumps in the stack. Basically, every pump is going to be hanging on top of the one below. 
and that means that power will be transferred all through the entire stack now once all of the pump stacks are mined out and the two bits are channeled through you can start building your pump stacks we're going to go to b we're going to, to bring up your build menu then you're going to go to m to bring up your machines and fluids and we're going to go to screw pump and we're going to angle it so it must it must take stuff from the bottom of the t and push it into the top of the t so in this case it's going to be from south to north while down here it is going to be the opposite direction it's going to be taken from here and pushing it down here so it's going to be like this as mentioned in the last video you're going to need blocks enormous corkscrews and pipe sections to build this one of each for each pump in the stack and be aware that if you are pumping magma there'll need to be magma safe materials you can check what materials are magma safe if you go to the labor menu you go to stone use and here this is telling you what is and is not magma safe once your pump stack is built you can connect it to whatever you're using for power generation uh, in my case because i'm using this water reactor it comes in through here and it comes in through one of the pumps in the middle of the stack so you'll see there's like some below and there's also some above you can also have it connect via the top or the bottom if you have a gear assembly either at the top or the bottom this connects into and uh, that's it that is how you create a working pump stack along with the macros you should set up in order to do so i, I hope you found this, this guide useful and if you did uh, please feel free to like and subscribe if you want more content like this, you can check me out on Twitch where I stream four nights a week. I can check out any of the videos on screen right now.